Felt like I was watching a presser from the CDC because the whole thing was just about COVID. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. <laughs> oh, boy, man. Uh, hope y'all are doing good. You see, we didn't fall asleep because we made it to the presser. Um, so shout out to Tondra. Shout out to Kevin. I know they, they acknowledge that in the presser. But anyway, um, I love y'all. I hope y'all doing good. I hope your Monday starting off good. I know a lot of people was like, oh, man, this is such great news to wake up to. Hearing Ronnie Stanley is back at practice. And it was, man. It was really nice to hear. Anyway, the Ravens had a presser today that featured both John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson. And then after Lamar Jackson finished speaking, it said, uh, please wait. The press conference will continue momentarily. You know that thumbnail that they put up? And then it just ended. Because uh, I was thinking, like, oh, are they going to have another, like, a surprise person come through? Because you know Ravens do that sometimes. And we're like, oh, we love it. But they just ended it. So anyway, shout out to the Ravens again. Their social media team, their broadcast team, their just everything team, they do a phenomenal job uh, at their job. So got to give them commendation for that. All right, so John Harbaugh was pretty quick, short, simple. Um, he said Ronnie Stanley's was on schedule, and that's, that's a good thing. Um, he said for as far as the preseason, he said that depending on the player, it's a case by case basis with different players and whatnot. Understandable. He said Kevin Zeidler has a sprain. Uh, he said it shouldn't be long till he's back. So we'll see. We know Harbaugh with injuries. Ever since the Perryman thing, Harbaugh done. He if he is not sure about something, then he will not say it. So I would actually expect Kevin Zeidler to be back this week. Be back really soon. <laughs> But Josh Oliver, he said that uh, he hasn't played much football in the NFL, obviously, because he's dealt with injuries his first, what, two years? I think this is third year, I believe. Um, he said he's learning, but he's talented. And we've been hearing a lot of good things about Josh Oliver. Um, I know when we initially traded for him from the Jacksonville Jaguars it's for, what, a conditional, either conditional sixth or conditional seventh round pick to where if he makes the Ravens roster, Ravens give up that pick, whether it's a six or a seventh, I forget. But if he doesn't make the roster, Ravens don't give up anything. They literally give up nothing. So either way, it's a um, it's a win win for the Ravens um, because like it, if he doesn't make it I, right now, I think he will. But if he doesn't make it, OK, you didn't give up anything. And you had a, a body there for training camp. You had some competition there for training camp to make all the other tight ends that much better. But if he does make it, hey. You found a third tight end and an athletic tight end, and uh, hopefully he will be healthy because that will make the world of a difference. So anyway, that was that. Um, he asked, uh, they asked Harbaugh if Josh Allen's contract impacts Lamar Jackson. And he was like, uh, I'm not commenting on that. He said, that's a better question for Eric, not EDC for Eric. That's when you know you super close with EDC. Like we, us fans, we call him EDC. We call that man EDC. But... Harbaugh said, no, that, that's my neighbor. It's my next door neighbor. We're right over the fence from each other. I'm calling that man Eric. So shout out to Harbaugh. Um, but he said both sides want a deal done and said it's no rush. Said it's no rush. Last time we heard this kind of talk from somebody in the front office was uh, Bill's GM, Brandon Bean. He said if them, if Josh Allen and the Bills, uh, they can't come to an agreement on a contract extension before week one, he said they're going to table the talks until after the season. So it won't be a distraction. It ain't got to be looming over their heads. What do you know? Boom. They struck a deal. They end up striking a deal. Huge deal. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Um, so, well, Lamar, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm sure they are very, very close in negotiation talks. Anyway. Then Lamar Jackson came up, and oh boy, you know them questions, them COVID questions. They were rolling. They were rolling, and it was like a lot of people were asking the same question, but in different ways. Lamar, how, how do you feel? How do you feel since you've been back from COVID? How, how are you? Man, um, how, were you how, did, how was it when you got COVID? How did you feel? Man, Lamar, um, are, are there different ways that you spell COVID? Do you use the word COVID, or do you say Corona? Or do you see, say C-19, or do you say COVID-19, or do you say coronavirus? What, 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 what term do you use, Lamar? And I was just like, oh, my goodness. But anyway, let's get into my cliff notes. Shout out to anybody in college. Good for you. Anyway, Lamar said he was fatigued. So he was tired from COVID. He said he was really tired. Um, but he said he didn't lose his sense of taste and smell like he did last time. And, boy, I could imagine that, like, losing your, uh, your sense of taste and smell like, that would be crazy. That would be crazy because, you know, food is so good. That would, like, 
that would be life changing. And it's, and it's people, and I, and I feel really bad for them because it's people that are like that already without COVID. So they, they can't taste or they can't smell. So it's like that. that's part of the enjoyment of life. Oh, man, can't wait for paradise. So they ain't got to go through that no more. But anyway, he said he was fatigued, said he was tired, said he was sleeping a lot. But he said he was glad to be back. And he sounded genuinely happy to be back. Because, I mean, and, and he, he talked about it. <laughs> He talked about how he's watching, like, the highlights and stuff on Instagram and on Twitter. He's like, man, they looking good out there. Them boys making plays and all that. But I want to be there, too. Because it's like you got FOMO. You got FOMO. And it, that's the fear of missing out. And you know what? It ain't even a fear. He's actually missing out. So he just got MO, missing out. So with that being said, it's like, man, you, you, like if you have something that you do every single day or every single week, something that you've been doing for a long time, and then it gets taken away from you, even if it's temporarily, but it gets taken away from you, it's like, man, oh, it'll give you some time to reflect and a time to step back. But at the same time, it's like, man, I miss it. I really do. And that was Lamar Jackson. Um, now, a good question. Uh, somebody asks how he manages having the weight of the world on his shoulders. Um, and he said he feels like he handles it well. Um, and, and then he was also asked, uh, said he was asked about the, if the Ravens asked about him getting vaccinated. Because, you know, that question was coming, too. And that question got asked in so many different ways. Uh, but he said he's going to talk to the doctors about it and get some more information about it and whatnot. So, OK, cool. Um, and he said that. People are going to feel how they feel uh, about certain situations, regardless of what he does, regardless, regardless of whatever decision he makes, people are going to feel how they feel. And we you know, we know that already. <laughs> Trust me, we do. Um, they asked uh, about how he felt like if, if he was like already back, like how like as far as last year, when was it that he was actually like back with to his regular self? And he said, uh, what, what game did I come back? Was it what Dallas? Was it Dallas? I was good. I was good. So he let it be known like, hey, when I came back, I came back and I, and I was good to go. Um, he said that he'll be following uh, the NFL protocols. And he also said that he's focusing right now uh, on just getting better. Just getting better as a player. Uh, somebody asked about uh, from last year, like what? he was working on to just get better what was the biggest thing he was working on uh as part of his game what aspect of his game was he looking to improve the most and he said just everything he said I, i'm not the perfect quarterback and but i'm i'm so i'm looking to just improve everything I'm working on everything said he even had his cousins over uh while he was at home he said they were his receivers and they were catching passes from him and stuff Maybe I, and he said they were like twenty yards away, so I guess that's that's the six feet right there, right? So and anyway, um, so he, so he said he was just working, man. He said he was working on stuff that he learned with um with Tom House, uh, and he mentioned somebody else. To my apologies, I I do I cannot remember the name right now, man. Uh, but he also asked was asked about Josh Allen and his deal, if that impacts him at all. And, you know, Lamar Jackson gave that same answer that he's been given when it comes to his contract talks. He said, that's good for Josh Allen. But he said he ain't worried about that. He's not worried about it. Um, and he said, uh, he said the time will come uh, for his contract. Now, he also talked about the preseason. He said, hey, I, like you hear a lot of guys, especially veteran guys. I know Lamar is not a veteran veteran. But you hear veteran guys, um, when they talk about the preseason, they, no, I don't want to play no preseason. I ain't, try, I ain't trying to play no preseason, man. But Lamar said, hey, if coaches want me to play in the preseason, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm ready to go. And, and you can understand why, because, again, he's been the thing that he loves and the thing that he's worked so hard his entire life to get uh, is football. And he's got it. Uh, and it was taken away from him for about a week and a half. And it was taken away from him at a time when he's stuff is ramping up. It's a big season for him. Um, I expect him to go into this season paid, uh, but we'll see. Cause I, I um I, I really I remember when the the talks first start coming out like around like last season, and early 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 super early this off season before any presses or anything, 
And I was just like, nah, I just did not expect the Ravens and Lamar Jackson to come to a contract extension. I didn't. Not 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 this year. I expected it to happen next year. Um, but everything is looking like it's getting it's getting ready to go, go down like at any second, man. Looking like it's getting ready to go down. Um, so y'all know I will be extremely happy when that happens. Cause y'all y'all already know, man. Y'all already know because that will be when Lamar gets his money, man. And you know, of course, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's gonna be. Oh, he got overpaid. Oh, you shouldn't pay that guy. Oh, he's not worth it. Oh, he's not. Oh, this dude's significance and his value to the Ravens is unmatched. The offense is him. It is him. If he's not out there, this offense is completely different. And I know Tyler Huntley is Tyler Huntley. Um, but Tyler Huntley still, he, he's not Lamar Jackson. And that's not a shot or a dig at Tyler Huntley at all. Or Trace McSorley. But they are not Lamar Jackson. And I'm not saying that they're not capable of taking care of business and not capable of being successful. But Lamar Jackson is just, he's just different, man. He's just different. So, again, he is extremely... Not even, not even just valuable to this Ravens team. Not even just valuable to this Ravens offense. He is priceless to the Ravens. Priceless. So when he gets paid, yeah, I may be celebrating like I'm getting paid too. <laughs> but anyway, he was asked about Sammy Watkins. Um, and... Oh, I forget the Spanish reporter's name, but I, I believe it was her that asked the question because it was it was like nothing but COVID question. COVID, 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 go, go ahead. But then she said, oh, you know what? Let's let's change this up. She's like, how is it to work with Sammy Watkins? And I was like, OK, there we go. Let's get some football questions up in here because we we already heard everything that he had to say about COVID. We knew it. And anyway, and I mean, we knew this was coming. Because this is his first presser back from being out from COVID. But we didn't think like the whole interview was going to be about it. I thought like a good little portion of what, But the, it was like the whole interview with COVID, COVID, COVID. Anyway, he said that um, with Sammy Watkins, uh, he said that Sammy Watkins makes his job easier. And he wants to make Sammy Watkins' job easier too. Said in practice today, uh, he missed him. I think he said it was a back shoulder throw. He missed him on or throw in the back of the end zone. Said Sammy was open, but he just missed him a little bit. Um... So, yeah, and, and Sammy, hopefully Sammy does make his job easier. And hopefully the Ravens can make Sammy Watkins' job easier. And hopefully he can have a clean bill of health. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And, and just a reminder of what we said before with this Ravens team. That is just the, the, the big thing at so many different positions. And even including the quarterback position with this whole little COVID thing. It's COVID with quarterbacks, with the running backs, no issues there. Offensive lines, Ronnie Stanley going to be good to go. How's Zeitler going to be? Bozeman left today. They said he left with a trainer. Um, hopefully he'll be straight. I think he will. It doesn't sound like anything serious, but we'll start to see over the next couple of days. Uh, wide receiver, of course, Sammy Watkins. Um, Hollywood, because he still got the hamstring thing going on right now. Rashad Bateman. Who, this was him and Lamar's first practice together. Shout out to Sarah Ellison for acknowledging that. I didn't even realize that. This was their first practice, so that's cool. Um, but they're the injury concerns at wide receiver, mostly with Sammy Watkins, but with the other guys as well. A little bit at tight end. Nick Boyle, when's he going to be back? And, and how is he going to be back when he comes back? And even with Josh Oliver, he's dealt with injuries in his career. So that, And that's just offense alone. So those are the injuries that we're concerned with at every single, besides running back. At every position on offense. So, anyway, on defense, I mean, y'all already know it. Deshaun Elliott, he had the two freak injuries earlier, but he finished last season, so that was good. So, hopefully, he'll be good to go. Of course, Jimmy Smith, Tavon Young, we know. Um, at linebacker, we don't have any injury concerns there. And along the defensive line, oh, Calais Campbell dealt with some little injuries. Nothing crazy, but a little bit. Um, and then also Brandon Williams, too. I know he had the COVID last year as well. Oh, he had a close contacts. But no, I think one game he had close contacts. Another game they said he actually got it. Um, but last year, y'all yeah, remember last year was just a mess. It was a mess. Uh, so, oof, 
It was just ugly all over. But anyway, but the Ravens made it out, and they made it to the playoffs, and they won a playoff game. So baby steps, baby, baby steps. Um, but it was nice seeing Lamar back, man. It was nice seeing him back. Uh, it was nice that, uh, like I said, he just looked really happy to be there. Um, and I, I, I appreciated it. And again, we appreciate Ravens for even bringing us these these pressers. Because, like I said, I don't know how often other teams do, but these Ravens, they on it every single day. Like, every single day that there's practice, they got a presser. Every day. Every day. I'm like, man, like, that's what I said. I, I joked about it a couple videos ago. But it's going to end up happening where we hear from all 90 men on the roster. We're going to hear from everybody. Because the Ravens are consistently on it, man. So, shout out to their work ethic. Shout out to their grind. Shout out to their production team. Shout out to them. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And we out.